what's up you guys it's Elise from the crunchy ginger.com and if you're new to my channel I'm so glad that you're here every week I post a video that has a tip a trick a DIY to help you live a little greener and save a little money and if that sounds good to you I would love it if you would subscribe so that we can stay in touch and if you're already subscribed thank you so very much so today we're gonna do something a little bit different this is gonna be a green cleaning episode and this is going to be a kind of clean with me style episode but we are going to be doing baking soda and i'm going to talk to you about five different ways that you can clean your refrigerator with baking soda so it is the springtime and it feels kind of like a spring cleaning kind of situation i'm feeling like i need to purge some stuff and you might be thinking that this is just a shameless attempt for me to clean out my refrigerator and make an episode about it, and you would be right. So we're going to start by making a general all-purpose cleaner, and I found the recipe for this on um, apartmenttherapy.com. So we're gonna try this out together, because I've never actually used this. Um, here's a little confession. I am not a terribly good housekeeper. I. I'm pretty good at keeping my counters clean, my food prep surfaces, I vacuum regularly. But like when it comes to really deep cleaning stuff, I'm it's where I really fall short. So I'm hoping that you'll come along with me and we can kind of work through this together. So for this recipe, um, this is gonna have baking soda in it. It's gonna be our first way of using baking soda. You're gonna need just a container to put this in. I have this glass container here. Um, we're going to be using a teaspoon of baking soda. So baking soda is an all-natural, non-toxic cleaner. It's amazing because um, it's a deodorizer. How am I going to get this in here? Let's try this funnel. Um, it's a deodorizer. It absorbs bad smells, and it's also a really gentle abrasive. So it scrubs things. I, I'm never going to get this through this funnel. Well, I'm, listen, we're doing this together. All right, so I've got about a tablespoon of, uh, I mean a teaspoon of baking soda in there. Then we're gonna use a half a teaspoon of, of Castile soap. I'm not really gonna measure this so much. Just kinda, that looks like about a half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more to me. This is Castile soap. This is Dr. Bronner's. Um, Castile soap is a vegetable-based soap. It's non-toxic. It is cruelty-free. It's made of only vegetable oils, um, and it's fantastic for a million things, including cleaning. This is now going to have two tablespoons of vinegar. Now, this is a science experiment. If you've never put um, vinegar and baking soda together, this is going to be fun. It's going to do some fizzing action, I expect. So there's one. This is just white distilled vinegar. I suppose you could probably use any sort of vinegar you want for this recipe, but I've just got this big industrial jug of vinegar, which I use for cleaning and laundry and all sorts of stuff. Okay, we're going to give this guy a little shake. Oh yeah, it's totally... Oh, can you hear it? It's totally fizzing up in there. So we're going to let that go just a little bit. If you want, you could add some essential oil to this as well. Maybe lemon or tea tree or something like that might be nice. Um, I'm just going to leave it like this for now. So now, after this, we're going to add, um, it says you just fill your container with warm water. I suppose that's probably to help this baking soda down here dissolve a little bit. So I am going to grab my tea kettle that has some water that I used for tea earlier today. So it's still a little bit warm, but not hot. This is not like boiling water or anything and I'm gonna fill my container and I'm gonna pop the sprayer on here and just give it a little shake oh yeah you can see like all the baking soda in there so let's see if it'll dissolve shake that okay so the next thing that we're going to do is make a sort of paste for the baking soda with the baking soda I'm gonna use this to scrub any sort of stained spots or stuck on things um, and for this um, I'm just gonna get a scoop of my baking soda here in this cup and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of water so we only need a little bit of water to make a paste I think technically it's probably like three parts baking soda to one part water but um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of water in here and kind of stir it up till we get a good paste going 
So this is an amazing um, natural alternative to like any of your soft scrubs and stuff like that. You're, you're gonna be, if you've never done this before, you'll be amazed at how well this works. Now, in order to clean your fridge, first thing you're gonna need to do is take everything out of it. So this is gonna be a little bit embarrassing for me. This is a little unedited, so I'm gonna take everything out and um, be pretty honest with myself about what needs to stay and what needs to go. Here we go. Okay, moment of truth. Ah. Okay, there she is, my refrigerator. Let's see, it's very small. It's not the worst. It could be worse, but there's definitely some mystery items in here. There's some stuff at the back that I haven't touched in a long time. So let's get started taking all of this stuff out. thought definitely some questionable items especially in the door that's where things apparently go to die in my fridge um, the first thing we're gonna do is give this whole thing a spray down with our all-purpose cleaner um, and I'm just gonna start liberally spritzing if you've got like shelves or whatever um, like glass shelves you can just take the whole thing out wash it in the sink I'm just gonna start by giving this a real liberal spray down here whoa while that sits, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my whole crisper drawer. There's definitely some, ooh, some stuff, some crumbs, some whatever. At least there's nothing gushy in there. This is actually my um, Swedish dishcloth that I got from my Mighty Fix. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, um, you can check it out over here. But let's give this a try because I haven't really used it very much, and this feels like a great opportunity to do so. So I'm going to start here at the bottom and just start wiping him down. Oh my gosh, I just found like the most ancient string cheese back here. Sick. Oh, gross. 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 Okay, so now that I have that done, do these come out? I bet they do. Oh, they do. Well, that's easier, isn't it? Now that I've got, um, now that I've got it generally, now that I've got everything generally wiped down, I'm gonna use my baking soda paste that we made. Put some scoops here. I've got some kind of unidentified stain on this guy, and I'm just gonna use my same sponge cloth and gently scrub this stuff. Oh yeah, and you can see it's totally coming right off, whatever that was, God knows. It's just gonna come right off with this paste here. Amazing. Look at that. Look how much better that looks. That's so amazing. So now I'm just going to wipe off the any extra of this baking soda paste. Wow. That looks so much better. <laughs> I wish the light was better in here so you could really appreciate it. So now I'm just going to go around and do the same thing for any other little stubborn stains that are hanging around the fridge with my paste. Um, I've got some in the back here. To make it a little mess, less messy, I might just put this paste right on my sponge here. Uh-huh. Oh, what is 
this stuff. Baking soda. Oh. Okay, this is looking so much better. So now I'm just gonna give a little bit of a, a wipe with some, just a wet, my wet cloth because the baking soda can leave a little bit of a residue. Shelf back in. All right, now it's time to put the stuff back in the fridge. So much more manageable. Okay, so now for our number three baking soda cleaning hack for our refrigerator and this is like the classic one this is the deodorizer you open the box of baking soda you stick it in you leave it in for three to six months and it helps absorb the odors so since i've got this gigantic tub of baking soda i am going to just take a recycled jar you can use any container and i'm going to fill it with my baking soda a couple of scoops ought to be good you can also add some essential oil to this, a couple drops of lemon to really um, freshen up your fridge if you want. I'm just gonna fill my jar like this. Um, I'm gonna take one of these guys. These are my um, one of my million DIY no-sew cloths and tissues. If you wanna see the tutorial for that, check it out. And I'm gonna put a rubber band around it so this can still breathe. So this will just be like our box of baking soda. Um, and you can even write the date on this if you like, which is a pretty good idea. I think I'll do that as well. Just gonna write today's date so I know when to change it. If I can remember today's date. All right. And I'm gonna stick this guy in the back of the fridge. Okay, so tip number four is for cleaning the outside of your refrigerator. And we can turn basically um, any sponge into a little DIY magic eraser. So I'm just gonna use my same Swedish dish cloth that I've been using, but you could use a re regular sponge. A Little bit of dry baking soda, so we don't need that whole huge paste situation for this. We're just going to do a little light buffing to get rid of any stains, marks, Works for crayon, if you've got crayon anywhere. Not that I ever have crayon on my walls. And you're just gonna buff it out just like that and then wipe down. Um, if you are doing this on a wall, I would test your paint just a little bit, but um, I've had pretty good results with this not scratching off the paint. Um, and that's what I've heard from other people as well. So this is tip number four. Okay. So my last tip for using baking soda for cleaning out your fridge is on your jars. So if you have found that you've cleaned out your fridge and you've got an embarrassing amount of stuff that you need to clean out, the glass jars are good to be saved. They're so good for storing all kinds of stuff. Um, and it's one way that we can live a little greener and save a little money by not buying containers and reusing containers that we already actually own. So in order to get the labels off of these, here's one trick that I love. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is fill your jar with hot water and let it sit for a few minutes. That's gonna loosen the adhesive so you can peel off most of the label. So you can see that most of this label did peel off, but for the stubborn part that's left on here, we're going to use, we're going to use um, the baking soda that we already used before and make kind of a paste with a little bit of oil. And work that in there like that. And most of it should wipe right off. Now we can wash this jar up and reuse them. Whew, 
thank you so much for cleaning with me today and I hope that you found these five uses for baking soda to clean your fridge the non-toxic all natural way to be useful if you want to know more tips and tricks you can head on over to thecrunchyginger.com you can follow me on Instagram at thecrunchyginger I am on Facebook please subscribe to this channel if you found this useful and if you have any ideas about things that I can clean because let's face it it's probably the only way I'm gonna deep clean my apartment, leave it in the comments below. And if you have other uses for baking soda in and around your kitchen, I'd love to hear them. I'm sure other people would too. Thank you so much for watching. Happy spring, y'all. Happy cleaning.